Jill Lepore, if then, how the Simulmatics Corporation invented the future. Step into the world of the Simulmatics Corporation, a long-forgotten pioneer in the realms of predictive analytics and behavioral data science. In Jill Lepore's captivating book, If Then, How the Simulmatics Corporation Invented the Future, you will discover the intriguing history of a small company whose ambitious pursuit of understanding human behavior through computer simulations influenced significant events and figures during the 1960s. Traverse through the tumultuous journey of Simulmatics as it attempts to revolutionize politics, advertising, and even more, only to face multiple setbacks and eventual bankruptcy. Unravel their legacy and draw parallels to modern-day giants such as Facebook, Amazon, Google, and Cambridge Analytica. Simulmatics, Predicting Human Behavior Jill Lepore's book, Simulmatics, is an engaging account of an obscure company that sold computer simulations to predict human behavior during the 1960s, a period that shaped American history. Lepore sheds light on how simulmatics theory influenced modern predictive analytics, with applications in tech giants such as Amazon, Facebook, Google, and Cambridge Analytica. Lepore critically evaluates the limits and folly of drawing insights on human psychology from algorithms. Highly praised by literary reviews and listed as a top book of 2020 by The Observer and O, The Oprah Magazine, this text offers a fascinating perspective on the origins of behavioral data science. Simulating Humanity In Simulmatics Corporation, founded by Edward L. Greenfield, computer science, mathematics, and behavioral science experts work together to automate prediction and manipulation of human behavior. Yet, after completing works for major clients such as John F. Kennedy's presidential campaign and the U.S. Department of Defense, the company went bankrupt in 1970. Unfortunately, it could not provide useful predictions or analyses for most of its clients. Lepore reports the company's history, leading readers to ponder the issues surrounding ethical and moral implications of such technology. Predicting Voter Behavior after the Democrats lost the 1952 presidential election, Greenfield founded the Simulmatics Corporation with the idea of predicting and simulating human behavior using computer analytics. Through the analysis of social and economic data, Simulmatics could predict how voters would respond to different campaign messages. This book captures a historic moment in which technology was being used to shape political campaigns. Simulmatics and Political Manipulation in her book, These Truths, A History of the United States, Jill Lepore explores Simulmatics Corporation's role in the 1960 presidential election. Ed Greenfield hired Alex Bernstein to help write a program that could track voters. Simulmatics proposed sorting voters into 480 types based on various criteria. The Democratic Party employed them in May 1959, and their report stated that the party would win if it performed better in civil rights. John F. Kennedy likely followed Simulmatic strategies, and Northern black voters proved critical to his success. However, their role in the election sparked a backlash, sparking a debate over the use of computers in politics. Simulmatics, Rise and Fall Lepore's book explains how Simulmatics, despite backlash, secured contracts with various clients. One of the significant events the book highlights is the New York Times acquiring an IBM computer before the 1962 elections and hiring Simulmatics to help analyze results that later turned out to be a massive fiasco. The team could not handle an IBM computer, leading to several other failures, causing the Times to terminate its contract with the firm. The Dark Side of Simulmatics In her book, Jill Lepore exposes the sinister support Simulmatics gave to U.S. counterinsurgency and PSYOPs during the Vietnam War. The company's work in Saigon involved opinion surveys of the Vietnamese, as well as the development of the Hamlet Evaluation System, which enabled the military to relocate people from their homes. Even though the office in Vietnam struggled to hire skilled staff, the company's techniques were both dubious and careless with sensitive material. Lepore sheds light on Simulmatics' dark history in government operations. Simulmatics' eerie predictions 
Simulmatic's early theories on simulating human behavior were disregarded, but they resurfaced as big data, AI, and algorithms. Despite the company's failure, their predictions came true, and the machine they developed to understand and manipulate human behavior came to life in the 21st century. Companies today decode and exploit human behavior using data, just as Simulmatics hoped to do decades ago. Simulmatics Missteps and Data Giants Jill Lepore's book reveals forgotten threads in U.S. history that are still evident today. Lepore explores the birth of the data industry through the story of Simulmatics, a company with lofty ambitions that failed to succeed. In highlighting their shortcomings, Lepore draws comparisons with today's data giants who dominate the industry. She illuminates how Simulmatic's pioneering stumbles contributed to the evolution of big data. With her unique voice and ability to find metaphors in American history, Lepore unravels intriguing human dramas that reflect the ongoing challenges in developing technology. While the Simulmatics Corporation struggled to achieve its goals during its brief existence, the company's ambitious vision laid the groundwork for the powerful predictive analytics and behavioral data science of today's tech companies. Despite setbacks and failures, Simulmatics explored bold ideas and paved the way for Facebook, Amazon, Google, and Cambridge Analytica, who continue to decode and exploit human behavior. Jill Lepore's riveting account of this obscure company reminds us that our past is inherently linked to our present, with the abandoned ideas of yesteryear contributing to the technological revolutions that now govern our lives.